So basically in this video here, I was working on the mist for in the second section of verses for creation with computer animation where the uh, where the mist is pulling up off the water. God's saying let the mist, uh, let there be a mist, or what is it, let, the, let there be a firmament to divide the waters from the waters. So I'm creating a mist material mesh thing here. Right now I'm actually working on the material, the mesh is already completed. But I'm working on material to texture it so I can have varying density in the cloud of mist mist rather than a solid mist that is what I had in that last animation I uploaded. So all I'm doing here is just working on some right now I'm actually doing some animation tweaks for the mist. I have it set up with a texture that's following an object, and so the mist should have some varying density that'll be animated. So as the mist is rising, this varying density of the mist will be moving around separately of the rising of the mist. Hopefully it won't look too bad and it'll actually sort of look somewhat real. So basically it's just a lot of test renders, tweak a few settings here and there and do another test render. Um, all these pictures are taken every 10 seconds. So on some of these renders here, you can see how long the computer was working at this. That was just half a minute on that last one. This one here, every single time we're seeing something change, that's actually 10 seconds in real time. This, I don't even know how long it was. It must have been like 10 minutes though. This was crazy, it took so long. And the worst part is, I've got 500 some odd frames that it's gotta animate. Unfortunately, all of them do not have mist like this, but there's a goodly few that do, and I'm not exactly looking forward to the days it's going to take to animate this. Uh, the last one I uploaded with the clouds, I actually let that render overnight. It was like 14 hours that it rendered. And the longest I had, it had like 10 frames, I think, at 4 minutes. And on this one, I'm going to have a lot more than... 10 frames of 4 minutes, so I'm going to be having, I don't even know, a lot of frames at a lot longer than 10 minutes. It's going to take forever, but it'll look good. Here I am trying to tweak around, um, so I'm, when, I, when I mix the video clips together with all the different individual animations, I have to you know, put some transitions between the, one, from one to the next, I don't just want to use an abrupt jump, so I was throwing an extra second of blank on the front side of the uh, audio. And here I am in the left half of the screen where you're seeing all these little lines going around and I'm changing stuff. I'm actually moving any animation 25 frames further back. So everything will still be in sync with the audio and it'll give me that extra second worth of blank at the beginning. Here I'm just rendering out the first frame with the mist being completely transparent so we don't see any of it and that's working fine um, I'm not sure okay here we've got a little bit of mist going there not taking too long it's actually working very well um, but yeah I'm noticing a bit of trouble with my mist in that uh, I'm seeing above the mist in the background here we go with another really long render um, I think this one actually I kind of messed up because I made my mesh, I scaled it up on the one end really big so it turned into more of a pyramid shape laying on its side. So the smallest point was near the camera and then the farther it got away from the camera the bigger it got. Which sort of is necessary to do because I don't want the camera to see beyond the mesh and see an edge of it any place. But I think I went way too big for what I needed. So it was taking forever. I mean seriously this took forever. Just seeing it now is taking forever. But yeah, I've got the my clouds there which are looking pretty good. The water on the bottom, which I believe on this render, it's kind of hard to tell on my little preview window I have here as I'm watching this. It looks like this is probably ray traced water. So it has transparency on the water and it also has mirroring on the water. So it's reflecting the mist above the water and it's semi-transparent so we can see through the water and well there's nothing under the water but it makes it look more real than if it's not semi-transparent so 
that is uh, the reason it's looking, or the reason it's taking so long. Yeah, it's very trace water, I can tell. So, yeah, it's, if I had to do the whole animation every frame check this long, I would be sitting here weeks for this thing to go. Fortunately, however, that's not the case. Um, like I said, I, I have now, you'll see it coming up a little later, I think. I've shrunk the, uh, shrunk, yeah. I shrank the mesh down a bit in the back and actually made it a little not so far away from the camera because some of it would just be on the camera's range and was pointless to have, so I actually eliminated that. Just saving the image there. See right there, and I'm undoing that, and then I'm just raising the top portion up a little bit because that's all I really need. And I threw in a little sphere here, which you'll probably see somewhere along the line to figure out what fa how far the camera could see. And, yeah, so cut out some of the work on that. But there you have it. A uh, little five-minute preview. This was just last night and today of pretty much the putting of the texture to get the varying density in the clouds. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed.